Hey everyone, it's Pickleball with Tyler and the Pickle Yogi from Universal Rackets and today we're going over how to hit an effective third shot drop. We're going to be going over first drills to do, tips to hit it, and different tactics and strategy that you can use to ensure that you have a good third shot drop next time you're on court. So the first thing that we're going to do is describe a third shot drop. So when do you use a third shot, Michelle? After you return the ball. Right, so you have two options after you serve the ball to get up to the kitchen. You can either drive the ball, which is a forehand or backhand, or you can utilize your drop, which means that you're hitting the ball into your opponent's kitchen, so they have to let the ball bounce, and then it's a great way to get up to the kitchen when you hit. As you get more advanced, I feel like they become more relevant, right? Yes. Good. So. Here's what we're going to do, okay? When you do your third shot drop, all that it is, it's, it is a dink, except you're back at the baseline. So instead of just having to cover this distance, you have to cover way more distance. So instead of just going up like your normal dink, you're going to go up and forward when you hit. So you want the paddle down in front of you, you wanna always try to hit a forehand as your drop, and you wanna extend through your arm and shoulder in order to get the drop. Why a lot of players go wrong and they miss drops or they pop it up in the air is A, they hold their paddle way too tight, or B, they try to get the ball in the kitchen and they keep it short. Remember, in pickleball to gain control, you have to give up control. So you need to make sure that you let that paddle go all the way forward every single time. So we're going to walk through a couple of drills that I love to do when you do your drop. Notice, if you guys want to learn how to hit good drops, it's not just going out and playing you're gonna be in the middle. It's not just going out and playing, trying to hit one or two drops. You need to get a partner, beautiful partner like Michelle, and you guys need to drill over and over again. Repetition, practice makes permanent, right? Too many players, they try to execute the drop once or twice and match play, they miss it, and they'll never do it again. When you learn the drop, you need to do it outside of your actual match play, or during a match that doesn't matter, right? So the first drill that we're going to do is I'm going to put my paddle down, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just toss the ball in the air and my partner is going to hit it back. Once again, I'm going to stand straight, put the ball down like I have my paddle, and I'm going to toss and extend to my partner's kitchen. Here we are. So, ball down, toss and extend, trying to go into our kitchen. Now, after I do that, I'm going to take a step back and work my way all the way back to the baseline. Now, when I'm doing this, I am extending all the way. I'm thinking like it's a beanbag toss, right? I'm extending with my hand to learn that follow through. Clearly, when people do this and when we do this in our clinics, we'll have a couple people just toss the ball like this. Okay, we can get the ball in the kitchen, which is good, but we wanna make sure that we're getting the muscle memory. I also want you to notice what I'm doing with my legs. I am pushing into the ground with my legs and off the ground. Well, maybe that's a little bit too high. Here we are. I'm pushing in the ground and off the ground. Now, when you guys hit a drop, a great place to hit a drop is when you're inside the court, when you're around here in the transition zone. The further back you get in pickleball, the more difficult it is going to be to hit a drop. So once I get back here, I'm going to work my way back in and again, keep on doing my beanbag toss, extending my arm, getting into my legs, making contact in front. Now, once I do this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my paddle and I'm going to hit a dink. And every single time I make it, I'm going to take a step back every single time. Now, notice I'm getting further back, right? So what does that mean? I have to get more into my legs every single time. And if you guys miss, you're going to stop exactly where you were and you're going to pick up from there. So I can't move back again until what? I make the ball. So I'm getting into my legs and extending. Getting into my legs and extending up. Now when I make it all the way back here, and then I'm going to work my way back up. Notice where I'm finishing my paddle. I am lifting the ball up when I hit. I'm lifting the ball up. And then I'm going to work my way back again. I need repetition, guys, right? And this is the perfect way to get this repetition, right? It's a feel shot when you hit this drop. You need tons of feel and tons of reps when you make contact. Did you guys think I was gonna hit the camera there? Here we are. Let's go. Good. 
Now, next thing that you can do, and again, I said tons of repetition, you're going to put yourself in the transition zone and you're going to force yourself to just do a ton of drops. So I'm going to stay in transition zone, here we are, and I'm just going over and over again, trying to get the ball into the kitchen. And I'm not moving up, right? I'm staying here every single time. This is a great drill because as you saw with that ball, it's going to force me to hit some uncomfortable shots, right? Because no matter how good your partner is, and I put the Pickle Yogi's link to our Instagram in the description, they're not always going to hit a perfect shot right back to you. So it's going to force you to really try to get that drop. I wanna make sure I'm making contact in front of me every single time. I'm not making contact back close to me, out in front every single time. Again, I'm getting into my legs every single time I hit. Now, we're gonna talk about one more thing. When you make contact or when you hit the drop, you wanna make sure that you go this high over the net. You don't wanna to go too high because if you go too high, what's gonna happen? They're gonna smash it back at you. Yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you with your third shot drop. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. I'll put the link to the Pickle Yogi's Instagram in the description, also Pickleball with Tyler. Make sure to follow us for Pickleball Tips. We use the awesome Selkirk Invicta Power Air. We put a link in the description. If you use our link for any Selkirk gear, or paddle, you will get a gift card with your purchase. Have a good one, guys. Happy hitting, and we'll see you next time on court.